untreated wastewater is spilling into a Cobb County Creek near the Chattahoochee River tonight. There was a pump failure at a water treatment plant. 11 Lives Joe Hankey is in Cobb County by the plant along Lee Industrial Boulevard. Joe, that is where this failure happened. Well, that's right, Cheryl. Right behind me is the part of the water treatment facility here in South Cobb in question. I'm told pumps inside that part of the facility failed. Water started backing up in what is called a dry tunnel, and then eventually it started spilling into the nearby Nickajack Creek. We have a map we'll show you here of where exactly this water facility is here in Austell. You can see the Nickajack Creek is about a mile and a half drive from the facility, and that creek then leads right into the Chattahoochee River. Today I stopped by the creek and could see water still backing up and going into the creek. The spill is taking place on a piece of county land. There's no homes or residential areas right next to the creek. I'm told the water is a mix of rain, creek water, and untreated wastewater. Crews are now working to install new pumps at the water facility to stop the overflow. For anyone who counts on Cobb's water supply for tap water, though, County officials say this problem does not impact that water. What caused the water system to fail? How much water has spilled into the creek so far? And when the failure could be fixed are all still unknown. One of our newer tunnels. Um, and again, the dry tunnel is uh, not but more than a few years old. Uh, that's what's really mystifying. The water folks say they've never really seen a situation like this before. They don't know what could have caused it. They don't know what caused it at this point. And until they can get enough pumps in here to clear that tunnel out, uh, they won't know. And county officials tell me more rain this afternoon, plus high water levels in the Nickajack Creek and the Chattahoochee River are making this a difficult problem to fix. But those high water levels could actually help dilute some of the wastewater that is being spilled into the creek and then the river. So that's possibly some good news here. The county is working with state environmental officials right now as the failure and spill are both investigated. Reporting in Cobb County, I'm Joe Henke, 11 Alive News. I'm Nick Sodervin in the